What's up, YouTube? This is your man, Big B Productions 100. Now, I know it's been a while since I've made any videos on Lightroom or Photoshop or any type of editing software, but today is your lucky day, so let's begin. Today in this short tutorial, I just wanted to go over some cool things that I like to do inside of Photoshop when I'm editing using two of my favorite applications, and those applications are Remask 3 and Define. Now, I'm going to open up my Photoshop here, like so. I'm just going to open up an image inside Photoshop and show you what I like to do to not all my images, but most of them, depending on if I'm working on an image, like let's just say with a model and she want me to extract her from a picture and put her inside another picture. Once that's done, I would like to use what we call noise reduction. So I'm going to show you, it's many different ways you can do this now, and it's many different applications that you can use for noise reduction. But I'm going to show you how I like to use an application called Define to take care of my noise and my photos. So let's just jump right into it. Got my Photoshop open. We're going to take this image and just throw this inside Photoshop like so. This is going to be kind of quick. I'm not going to make a long tutorial. I know a lot of us hate long tutorials. So I'm going to try not to do too much talking and just mostly editing so you can just, you know, follow my steps. Now we have it inside Photoshop. I'm going to just double click that. Okay, like so. Now, what I want to do next is I want to open this up inside of Remask. So, if you don't have Remask, you can actually go over to Topaz. I will be sure to put the link in the description where you can head over to Topaz Labs yourself and you can download the whole collection and you would get all of these right here. All of these are included if you purchase the collection yourself. So, I'm just going to open this up inside of Remask. Now, everything that's green, pretty much you'll keep. Everything that's blue is what you're just going to save from when you do the extraction. So I'm just going to show you here. We're just going to start by taking this little circle here. It's already blue, so we're good to go. And we're just going to just trace on the outline of everything that we want to keep. So just go around. Now I know it's going to be a lot of people saying right now, like, oh, that's nothing. You can do this inside of Photoshop and everything, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's true. You can do it inside Photoshop. You don't have to use Remastery. And to be quite frank with you, if that's the case, do it. I mean, you don't have to watch this video. So, But I mean, by all means, for the people that want to learn how to do it inside Remastery, hey, that's what I'm here for. So now we trace everything that we want to keep. We want to keep our model. And as you see, she's on the inside. So with that being said, as far as the trees and everything in the sky, we don't need. So we're going to come over here to the paint bucket, the fields, select the red paint bucket and just drop it on what you don't want. Once you have done that, everything that's red, we're going to delete everything that's green. We're going to keep and we just have the bluish. Well, I guess the blue here, we just traced her out so we can just tell Remas like, OK, we want to separate her from what we don't want. So that's what we just basically did here so we just want to come over here to where it says compute mass you just want to click that and let it do its magic like so now you can come up here to just see what you got going on that's what we're going to keep right there so i think you know the application did a pretty good job and if we would have done this inside photoshop this probably would have took some time so remaster 3 has basically selected her out in a snap you know with no problem so you can either cut, like so, it'll show you the cut, and that's the outline of a hair. So we're gonna go back and we just wanna fix that up a little bit. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Now we're gonna come over here, like so, and we just want to get our single color selection. So we're gonna use red for this one, because we see a little bit of green here. And I just wanna fix that up a little bit. Select what you don't want and then just go around and let it do its job. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Now just click on OK. Once you're done, Photoshop will then create a new layer for you, like so. Now we can turn the second layer off, and that's pretty much what you got right there. So, what we're going to do, we're just going to keep that layer off. Now I'm going to take another photo here and just drop it in behind, like so. 
Just gonna drop this here and stretch it out a little bit. Once that's done, we can just drop that down like so. And now we wanna head over to our second layer here. And we're gonna come down here and we're gonna add another mask. Now we just want to grab our paintbrush here and make sure it's on black. The black conceal and white reveals. So basically what we're gonna do here, right here on the outline of a hair where it's kind of just, you know, rough a little bit, it's looking kind of rough. We're just gonna erase some of that. Now, the only reason why I choose a green background is because if you notice with the image that I started with, you know, it was starting out with a green background and that was the trees and everything that was behind us. So in, in, in some cases, you know, you can actually just make it kind of easy on yourself. And if the model don't mind, like you can probably check with her before you start to edit and everything. And if she want a cool background, you can ask her, you know, if she would mind like you throwing a colorful background in and just try to check to see what type of colors she like, like as far as like her favorite colors or whatever. And um, try to see what kind of colors she's going to be wearing for that day for the photo shoot. And uh, you can just go from there. So, you know, just to kind of get an idea of what kind of background you would want to use behind her. And just keep in mind, you know, when you shoot a model, if you can, try to use a white background. A white background or maybe something like green, like a solid color. I'm not going to be too perfect here, but you get the idea. You know, just take your time and go around it and everything and make sure it look good. Before you sell your picture here to your model or the agency or whoever you're doing a photo shoot for, you want to make sure it's perfect. So again, I'm just putting together a quick tutorial here for you guys to show you what I like to do with most of the image that I edit when I'm not doing something like buildings downtown Chicago with my HDR work. So once you're done and everything looks good to you, you can head over here and you can just basically merge everything together like so. And we can just, uh, you can just delete this layer, whatever you want to do, it's up to you. I'm just going to delete that layer. We're going to keep this right here. I think it looked good. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to save this to my desktop because I could just go back into filters and come down to Topaz Labs and just use the denoise, but I don't want to use denoise inside Topaz Labs. I'm going to use define. So we're just going to save this like so. You can save it to the desktop where you want to save it. Large file. Okay, that should be done. There it is right there on the desktop. Okay, now we're just going to take this image and I'm going to open it up inside Define. Now, with this application Define, I would be sure to put the link down below in the description as well. I know it's a lot of people wondering that's not familiar with Define, probably saying like, okay, where can I get that application from? Don't worry, I got you. Now, with Define, it's a noise reduction application. Like most of the stuff you can do in Photoshop and Lightroom. And I love Lightroom. I use Lightroom for almost everything. Everything. I love Lightroom. But I'm going to show you what you can do inside Define. So inside Define, the minute you open your photo up in Define, it automatically starts working. And if you look here on the right, you'll see that it says automatic profile applied. So what Define has done is it has pinpointed all of the spots that needed some work done, such as on a shirt, right below her chin here on her neck, over here in this corner, and at the very far right, it has pinpointed all the spots that needed to have some noise reduction taken away. So you took noise out of the photo just by opening up the photo inside Define. What actually, you didn't have to do anything. You just opened it up and that was it. And if you come up here where it says views, you can come over and just do like a, you know, a before and after. There's a before, well, that's the after, and here's the before. But see, we're not done yet. So let's just say if you wasn't happy with that, you didn't really like it. You said, okay, it took some noise out, but you still see noise with your human eye, and you want to do some more work. You can come over here to where it says reduce, like so, and then you could just come down to where it says control points. Do color range. Now what you're going to do is you're going to do color range, and you're going to take out the noise in the photo yourself, but you're going to just be precise with it. So you want to select the drop tool here, 
and let's just say we're going to select her skin right here on her forehead so you're going to sample that skin you want to come down get the next drop and maybe on her shirt you want to get the next one maybe her hair in here a little bit i guess select the contrast noise maybe over here come over here in the upper corner okay now you can just play with it yourself you know you can add more or less it's up to you and you can just you know basically play around with it now again I mean each photo is going to be different so you can add more contrast noise reduction you can take some out how do you like it's up to you and basically before you're done you can come up here to where it says RGB and you can come down to where it says contrast noise mask and it'll show you you know the spots where you have done noise reduction at. so pretty much everything that's really really highlighted in white like well should I say gray area or well, light gray that's like where all the noise reduction was applied at that's really cool and these are just some of the things that you can do inside define so we're just gonna go back to RGB here and let's just see if we was done now what I want to do is I actually want to come up here and just zoom in like so I'm gonna zoom in here and now we're gonna do it before and after that's the before and this is the after and like I said you can just see all of the noise that Define has took out for us just by opening up the image inside Define it automatically start working for you without you touching anything and I just think that's perfect so after that after you have checked the whole image to your liking you can just click on save and just like that your image you know what let me close this down don't save and just like that, your image is now done and ready to be put up on Facebook or published to any website that you like of your choice. We're just using Photoshop and Define. Again, this was a quick tutorial on some of the things that I like to do inside Photoshop and using a bunch of applications. And if you look here real quick, I use Photoshop and Lightroom, but I have a ton of applications that I use when I edit, such as HDRFX Pro, I mean, I have so many different applications here, which just I mean, just for photo editing alone. And I mean, I would be all day showing you everything that I use, but maybe I would put that in another video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. This is your man, Big B Production 100. If you guys did, please rate, comment and subscribe. I'll let you.